Normally when you're preparing diving equipment to go under the sea, a shark is the last thing you want to meet. Divers have a pretty healthy respect for them, despite the fact that really there are very few attacks by sharks on divers. Still, it's better to be safe than otherwise, and even at Kelly Talton's, where the sharks are used to people, we're going to feed them at long range. But the stingrays are quite another matter. Despite their very fearsome name, they really are most beautiful and docile creatures. So we can take some food down to them in this bag and feed them right up against the glass where everybody can get a close look. It's time for you to come down there with me and see how these fish behave. Have a good look at the sharks and the rays. Three things. The way they eat, the way they move, and the way they work their gills. See you down there. hand out food down here, everyone comes along for a free meal. And most of them are the free swimming fishes of the open ocean, and the occasional turtle. But amongst them are other creatures, and the broad frying pan shape of the ray tells you it's built for a different sort of life. It lies on the sea floor, spread out over the sand. In that position, its mouth is well placed to take advantage of the small creatures it finds there, mostly shellfish, but other small things too. But that has its hazards. It could easily suck sand into the gills and damage them. So it breathes in reverse. Behind the eye, you can see beating the spiracle. Water goes in there, and it's blown out through the gills under the body. And in that way, the sand doesn't get into the gills, and it doesn't damage them and cut them up. There's not much chance of my being damaged here. The ray doesn't have sharp teeth. They're blunt and really very good for grinding up the shellfish. And it just mumbles along there, a sedentary creature spread out wide and flat for lying on the sand or moving sluggishly over it. But for the sharks it's a different story. They are intensely predatory. And being the hunters of the open ocean, they are constantly on the move. They have to be, otherwise they sink to the bottom and they can't breathe. And what propels them is that peculiar tail. The top part is a lot longer than the bottom. And they don't have fins on the side that beat like a goldfish's, their fins are like an aeroplane's wings, stuck out and stationary, and so really they fly through the ocean water. <laughs> 